Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath and it's Tips and Tricks Thursday. All right folks, in this Tips and Tricks episode, I'm gonna show you how to rig a lure that is commonly thought of as a lure that you top ballyhoo to troll them with. What it does is it adds some flair, adds some flash, and it makes the profile a little bit larger, and it also keeps your ballyhoo from washing out quicker. Well, I'm gonna show you how to rig it up so that it can be used by itself as a solo lure. That's right, I'm gonna show you how to rig a chugger squid for trolling. Before we get into this though, if you wanna learn more about fishing, grow as an angler, or just see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures, you can start by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. All right, folks, so like I said, we're going over how to rig a chugger squid for trolling as a lure by itself. These are great little lures. You can find them in pretty much any tackle shop that sells saltwater tackle for trolling. Okay, so to start out with, I wanna talk a little bit about the chugger squid. It is a four and a half inch lure. It has a cone shaped head. So when you drag it through the water, it's gonna create lots of bubbles and smoke behind it. It attracts fish that will be actively hunting for what you will be doing, which is trolling, which is the pursuit of actively hunting fish. These lures come in all sorts of great colors. My favorite happened to be this one, which is pink and white. And I also tend to go with the blue and white. And my last favorite is the dolphin colored one, which is chartreuse and blue with some glitter on it. Okay, so like I said, typically these are thought of as lures that you cover up ballyhoo with. And rightfully so, that's what they were designed to do. But sometimes you have to think outside the box and not necessarily go with what is the original intention of a lure if you want to get a little creative and sort of find other ways to get into the bite. Keep things exciting. Keep things fresh. Try stuff that has not been tried before. That's what fishing is all about a lot of times is that research and development process. So we're not gonna waste any more time. We're gonna get right into it. And I'm gonna show you how to rig this up so you can take it out and get on trolling. Okay, to do this properly, you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need your chugger squid in the color of your choice. Two 50 J hooks. Two barrel swivels, size number five. One 3 8 ounce egg sinker about eight to 10 feet of 40 pound monofilament leader and a cutting tool. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna to need to do is we are going to need to take our hooks and turn them into a double hook tandem setup. To do this properly, what you do is you hold your hook backwards, you find where the shank loops around and the eye meets the shank again. You put your cutting tool right in between that point and you pinch it and it will open your eye up. You then take your second hook Put it in backwards and that hooks them together in the tandem setup. Then you will take the back of your cutting tool. You will place the eye of the open hook right in the back side of it and you simply pinch it closed and there you go. Back it out, make sure it's not coming loose and you're good to go. That is how you make double hooks. The next thing we're gonna need to do is we will take what is going to be the business end of our leader and we are going to feed it through the nose hole of the cone shaped head of our lure. And we'll feed it all the way back till it comes out and we'll just pull some length on it. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we will thread on our 3 8 ounce sinker. Then we are going to tie on one of the barrel swivels. This barrel swivel is going to act as a spacer so it will set our trailer hook at the right point which is just beyond the end of the lure which is where predator fish tend to strike first, the tail of crayfish. We are going to attach the barrel swivel with a basic clinch knot. There we go. Nice clinch knot. Make sure it looks pretty. If it doesn't look pretty, then it's probably tied wrong and you should cut it over and start again. Trim off your tag. Give it a good strong pull. 
make sure it's not going nowhere and that it's set right. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to open up the eye of our lead hook. We are going to hook this onto the free end of the barrel swivel that we just tied on. And then we are going to close that eye again in the same fashion that we closed it making the tandem setup. Give it a good squeeze. Make sure that your swivel's not coming undone. You're good to go. Now what we have to do is we have to set all of this into the cone shape head of the chugger squid. So what we're simply going to do is we're going to draw back the sinker until it rests on the barrel swivel and we will simply pull it straight up making sure to not get any tentacles and we will pull it up into the head until it sits so if you pull away the tentacles you're going to see how it will sit in line and it will make it troll straight so you just give it a good wiggle and pull until it goes and it seats itself properly and once you have it all up in there properly and fed up as deep as it can go it will stick out just a little bit just like that and the sinker has been inserted into the head properly now you have your barrel swivel acting as a spacer and what we do is we lay it all down flat and as you can see your trail hook hangs out just beyond the end of the lure this is what you want this is where fish will strike first disable the prey by hitting the tail what this does is this increases your hookup ratio and at the same time effectively decreases your short strike ratio and now to finish the lure off we will find the main line end of our leader we are simply going to tie on the other barrel swivel with another basic clinch knot Make sure you pull your knot nice and tight, that it looks pretty, you're good to go. Trim off your tag. And that's it, your lure is done. You're ready to take it and plop it in the water and get trolling and try and get into that bite. All right, folks, and that is how you rig a chugger squid for trolling by itself just as a lure, just like it was meant to be. What you're gonna do is you're gonna plop it in the water and you're gonna troll it at around eight to 10 knots. You're gonna troll it fast. It's got a lead in its head and it'll stay right below the water surface as you troll. It'll pop out every once in a while, acting like a little teaser, getting that fish to come up, examine it as quick as he can because he's hunting and he's hungry and strike it. The fish you're gonna be looking to catch with chugger squids are fish like Mahi Mahi. Bonita, of course, will hit these like no other fish will. Blackfin tuna skipjack tuna and you will run into the occasional billfish like a sailfish with it and remember when you head out you're trolling you're going to look for forms of life birds seaweed debris floating in the water go towards it that's what harbors life where predators hang out and eat and the cycle of life continues all right folks that about does it for this episode i hope you had fun hope you enjoyed and i hope you learned how to rig a chugger squid so that it can be trolled as a lure by itself. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing, going wherever the cool wind takes us.